Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about carrier sense multiple access with collision detection. Now what happened? In previous tutorial, we studied about the CSMA method. And uh, the CSMA method does not specify the procedure following a collision. Right? So what happens uh, this carrier sense multiple access with collision detection, it augments the algorithm to handle the collision. Right? Now what happens in this method? In this method, a station monitors the medium after it sends a frame. And if the transmission was successful, then the station is finished. And if there is a collision, the frame is sent again. Right? So what happens in this uh, carrier science multiple access with the collision detection? In this method, a station monitors the medium after it sends a frame. Right? And uh, if the transmission was successful, then the station is finished and if there is a collision the frame is sent again right now what happens uh, now consider two stations a and c right uh, consider two stations a and c right now what happens at time t1 station a starts sending the bits of its frame right and at time t2 right at time t2 Station C has not uh, yet sensed the first bit sent by station A, right? So at time T2, right? Station C has not sensed the first bit sent by station A. And station C starts sending the bits in its frames, right? And uh, which propagate uh, both uh, directions in the left and to the right. Now, the collision will occur sometimes after time t2, right? Station C detects collision when it receives the first bit of station A's frame, right? Uh, suppose uh, station C detects uh, collision at time t3, right? So when it detects uh, collision, it will immediately abort the transmission, right? Now station A, station A will detect collision when it receives the first bit of station C's frame. Right. Suppose uh, station A detects collision at time T4. Then what happens after detecting collision, station A will also abort the transmission. Right. So what happens at time T4? Right. The transmission of A's frame, which is uh, incomplete, is aborted. And at time T3, right the transmission of station C's frame which is incomplete is aborted right now what happens for carrier sense multiple access with collision detection method to work there is a restriction on the frame size right now what happens if there is a collision then the sending station must detect it before sending the last bit of the frame and abort the transmission it is so because once the entire frame is sent the station does not keep a copy of the frame and it does not monitor the line for collision detection, right? So what happens uh, therefore the frame transmission time must be at least two times the maximum propagation time, right? 